Can you imagine being ugly? You. Thankfully, I never had to experience such a sad life. Because, as you can see, I'm a certified hottie. Oh, yeah. And I hate ugly people. If you're ugly and you're watching my video, stop. Okay, huh? Wait, what's happening? No, 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 no. Don't go, don't go, don't go. <laughs> now everybody knows I'm one of the uglies. Now that it's established that I'm the CEO of the uglies, let's talk about this movie. It just came up on my feed like a personal attack, and you know I had to watch it. And boy, oh boy, am I glad that I did. Because it is one of the dumbest movies I've ever seen in my life. It's a dystopian world where everyone is pretty because of government-mandated plastic surgery. That's just South Korea. Is this a K-drama? I do not want to watch a K-drama. Basically, the plot is that everybody's ugly the way they're born and on their 16th birthday, they get to have plastic surgery to become the person they've always meant to be. Everyone on their 16th birthday undergoes a life-changing operation to become their most perfect self. And when everyone is perfect, conflict melts away. And the idea is that if everyone is pretty, there's no more discrimination. They'll be beautiful and free from hatred and discrimination based on the way that you look. Now, I do agree that ugly people are one of the most discriminated groups in the world. We always have to work for what we get. Nobody follows us on social media. And we've been using the same profile picture for the past seven years. I took this picture when I was a teenager and I use it everywhere. So in this world, until you get pretty, everybody just calls you by your biggest insecurity. Like the protagonist, she's called Squint. I'm Tally. But what are we gonna call you? You'll certainly be prettier without those squinty eyes. Squint. Because I guess she's got a squint or something. I mean, personally, I don't see it. Her guy best friend, he's called Nose. I'm Paris. But everyone calls me nose. I mean, I wonder what they'd call me if I was in this world. Shitty hairline. Hey. Dumb glasses. Hey. You're the worst gene in the gene. Hey, yo. You're only supposed to call me one thing. And, and none of you shitheads better get any ideas and start commenting. Okay, I will get so mad if I get roasted. This is the protagonist, Squint. This is what she looks like today. And this is what she looked like after her plastic surgery. Girl, that's just a 40 minute makeup routine. You don't need plastic surgery. All you need is a YouTube tutorial. I mean, have you seen those transformations? All the ugly people are segregated from the pretty people and put in a different part of the city, as they should be. But Squint decides to sneak into the hot part of town to go meet her guy best friend, who is now hot. And he's having none of that shit. What are you, what are you doing here? I was worried. Yeah, I don't know. Things are just different here. I didn't really know what we'd talk about. I mean, you'll get it when you're pretty. I agree. What do you even talk to ugly people about when you're hot? I had the best day ever. I got a promotion and the cute girl at the coffee shop gave me extra whipped cream and I just hit 100k followers on my Insta. How was your day? The girl I was in love with for the past three years just ghosted me. Hmm. Did you try being yourself? So Squint just forgets about this guy and becomes best friends with this girl who they nickname Skinny and who is damn near perfect looking. How are we not already friends? Honestly, do they expect us to believe that these people are supposed to be ugly? I mean, this movie makes no sense. Why are they calling the protagonist Squint when clearly she's the Asian? Predictably, in this world, there's a rebel faction of ugly people trying to destroy the community of pretty people. Skinny wants to go join them and she wants Squint to come with her. But Squint wants to be pretty. And that's when Squint drops this masterpiece of dialogue writing. I'm not getting the surgery. I want you to come with me. Everyone is exactly who they're born to be. They're free. I don't want to be free. I want to be pretty. What the writer felt like when he wrote, I don't want to be free, I want to be pretty. Skinny escapes with the rebels and Squint comes back. But the government finds out. 
and they want Squint to go find Skinny and snitch on the rebels. And that is precisely what she does. Hey! Finally, we get to see what the ugly rebels look like. God! Damn it! How is that ugly? How is that ugly? And where did he get his steroids dealer from? Quint is among the ugly people, and she's trying to find out what their big bad plan is. Turns out, they're the good guys, and they do not like the government trying to stop people from looking like Shrek's cousins. And these people think they're better than everybody else, just because they live in a commune and grow their own vegetables and don't believe in deodorants. I mean, come on, guys. You're just vegans, okay? You are not winning a battle against the Instagram models. And Squint is digging all of this shit. She loves it. And uh, the rebel leader, yeah, turns out he has a bit of a crush on her. And he's trying to woo her by giving her handmade gloves. For me? Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> of course. That's just so lazy. You can't give handmade gifts after the age of 13. Everybody knows that. Even my mom doesn't accept handmade gifts these days. I'm sorry, mom. Okay, I am broke. And if you don't think this greeting card that opens up into a fan is cool AF, then you don't deserve to have a happy birthday. Here's the big twist, y'all. Turns out, when the government makes you hot, it also makes you stupid. These lesions in the frontal cortex, they dull you. You don't care about anything. You can't think clearly. You're sedated into a false sense of happiness. So you're just good looking and you're too dumb to experience anxiety? Sign me the fuck up, fam! Honestly, that's a great deal. It's like when you go try to buy running shoes and they throw in a free Olympic gold medal with it. Turns out there's a cure that keeps you hot but makes you smart again. What is the point of all this then? It's like going to buy running shoes and then having to dread waking up early in the morning. Ugh! Who asked for this? I just want to sleep. Squint decides to stay and fight the hot dumb people. And just when she decides that, the hot people track her down and fuck shit up for the uggos. Squint escapes, obviously, with the leader of the rebels, obviously, and they both go try to rescue everyone else. But oh no, it's too late. They already turned her skinny friend into a hotter. She was already pretty to begin with. How much prettier can she get? Let's see. You. Is that what I look like with my filter on? Is that the moral of the story? That I am beautiful just the way I am? And I don't need this filter to make me feel good about myself? And so, my facade comes off. And I embrace myself. You. I guess it only works if you're hot to begin with. Everyone escapes, and they also steal the cure that keeps people hot but makes them smart again. But oh no, you can't use it without people's consent, and people can't give you consent because they're dumb AF now. So in a rare display of bravery, Squint volunteers his tribute to go get hot and then get smart. I'll do it. What? They'll turn me in, and then you'll turn me back. Wow. Such bravery. How will the world ever thank you for being hot and smart? I don't think I could have done this. You're such an inspiration. The movie literally ends on Hot Squint. This movie acts like it's this great social commentary on how we live in a superficial world, but it has no idea how to relate to ugly people. And I'm assuming most of you watching this video are ugly. I mean, statistically speaking, that do be the case. And this movie expects us ugly folk to relate to these people. I mean, look at them. In what world are they supposed to be considered ugly? They all look like they could star in a low-budget Netflix movie. I remember when dystopian stories with girl protagonists were actually good. Like The Hunger Games and End of List. And you would also think that this is just some Hunger Games fan fiction written by the weird girl in class. But no, this was written by a grown ass man. Like, how do you even 
pitched this. I want to write a book and it's about how everybody hates ugly people and only good looking people get everything and the world is unfair and plastic surgery is the only way anybody's ever going to treat me with respect. Scott, you're almost 50 years old, man. Control yourself. The whole premise of the movie is also weird because the idea is that if everyone is pretty, there won't be any discrimination. Is that why discrimination happens? Hmm. Because people are ugly? Is that the root cause of discrimination? I remember a time in history when a whole country enslaved a group of people just because they had asymmetrical face. This movie is mad stupid, yo. There's this whole phenomena called Instagram face where social media and face tune and plastic surgery created this robotic, lifeless look that women aspire for. I mean, you've seen this shit everywhere. It's the long lashes and the small nose and the high cheekbones and the full lips. It's like a whole generation of Angelina Jolie's. It started off with the Kardashians and then it became an epidemic on Instagram. And nobody looks good with the Instagram face IRL. It only kind of sort of looks good in pictures because that's what we're used to seeing on our feeds. You know, I've heard that when you get so much plastic surgery with all that Botox and fillers and procedures that when you try to smile it actually hurts your face like it hurts when you try to be happy and isn't that poetic all i know is that this movie is trying to combat this dysmorphia that so many people feel and failing so hard at it all this movie showed me is that it's so much more fun being hot than it is being ugly and even the protagonist agrees make me pretty same girl. Ha. Anyways, I'm never taking off this filter again. See you, Argos, on the other side. Let me get some water. Can I get some water? Of course I can get some water. Let's go, let's go. Can you, can you, can you imagine being ugly? The f*** is the focus mode, dog? Focus. Get the f*** out of my life.